Hello, I'm Paul Dixon, Labour candidate for Old Town. Hi, my name is Nadine Watts. I am a desert person and Labour candidate for Old Town. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ed Gerard, and I'm the uh, Swindon uh, uh, UKIP uh, branch chairman. Hello, I'm Bill Hughes. I'm representing the Green Party. I have stood in Old Town and Lawn before, but I'm standing in a at the moment. I'm standing in David Miles, who's a very good candidate. Good morning. My name is Linda Barber, and I am chair of the Swindon Lib Dems. And I can say that I am the prospective candidate for Old Town. Thank you. Good morning, Rod Blue. Um, I'm a resident of Clifton Street, and uh, as I think Colin pointed out, that's in Escott. But um, my natural community, I regard as Old Town. I've always regarded myself as an Old Town resident, and uh, you know me as leader of the council, as well, most of you, I'm sure. Good morning, I'm Brian Muttock, I'm the Conservative um, uh, member. I am the also sitting uh, councillor for Old Town and Lawn, soon to be at Old Town, and I live in uh, Mill Lane uh, within the board. Uh, good morning, I'm Peter Mullinson, I'm the uh, candidate for Conservatives. Um, I live in the Bramptons and Shaw in Swindon, and that's in West Swindon. Thank you very much. Um, I suppose before we move on to the uh, initial statements, I think you've all drawn lots, haven't you, for that? Yes. Um, just a couple of housekeeping things. Uh, you're probably hearing there's a bit of dip, 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 dip on the AV system. Those of you with mobile phones, if you could spare a moment to uh, switch them off, that'll, that'll help a little bit, be a bit, a bit less distracting for everyone. And I suppose out of uh, deference and thanks to our colleagues and friends from the Wiltshire Fire Service, we should also point out, should that during the white heat of debates <laughs> night, we have a fire escape here and a fire escape at the end of the hall. Um, Colin, how do you want to move on then with the initial statements? Does everybody know yeah, who, which order they're in? So we want to start out with number one if they want to indicate to me who they are. Bill, here we go. Here's the microphone. Right, um, I've been in the Green Party, for goodness knows how long, originally the Ecology Party. Now, when I was in the Ecology Party um, in Swindon, there was this massive proposal of a nationwide building society had a huge building. So we started off with our sort of localism and green policy by making a tremendous objection to this. We managed to hold it up for three months by objecting to the rerouting of a path and a footpath. And since then, every green deal development we've tried to oppose, including the front garden, Wicklestow, the um, Coke Water, the Crofts, new Croft School, and also things like the Force Hill allotments and open space around there, the shore development a few years ago. Every time that this council, whatever political colour, they seem to have this sort of Philistine view that massive uh, urban development on greenfield sites is what Swindon needs. But what we've seen recently, especially with your local residents opposing the Croft School development, how people are concerned about preserving the green fields and preserving a decent environment, they're not content with more and more glass and concrete like we've seen in the town centre and probably even more uh, in planning uh, is going to happen. Um, you might think that we're a minor party, but we're quite a major party in Germany and parts of Europe. We now have an MP in Brighton, we have members on the London uh, Council, Scottish Parliament, um, myself, I've, I've beaten, over the years I've beaten every major candidate, uh, party, for example, a by-election in Central Ward a few years ago, the Conservatives, I beat them. In the European elections, I beat the Liberal Democrats. And I also beat Labour in uh, Old Town and Lawn a few years ago into fourth place. Um, there was a question Colin asked, what were you going to do? Well, primarily, stop any of this further... Uh, of development on greenfield sites, particularly where there's overwhelming uh, community objection to it. Um, other things we do in the local area, introduce more 20 mile an hour speed limits, plant more trees, try and be more democratically accountable. And so, where, where you, for example, you want a new school, do you really want a new school? 
how much time? 30 seconds. Right? That's right. So, can I end up by saying, good, good on you, your, your residence association is a magnificent example for localism for the whole borough. And um, if we get Green Councils uh, elected, we will be behind every local uh, committee that wants to uh, have a decent environment and a proper future for our children. <coughs> Thank you. Okay, we have our candidate number two. Who drew number two? <laughs> 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 number three. Number three, yes. Okay, <laughs> next in order. For <laughs> some reason that's six. This is number three. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm going to concentrate firstly on what we've done in the ward as a sitting uh, councillor. First of all, we have introduced a 20 mile an hour limit on 15 streets in Old Town. It was a scheme generated by the community, delivered within budget, and it will provide safe access for children going to Lethbridge and uh, um, uh, Commonwealth. We built, uh, or rather provided, a temporary facility in East Wichita in the ward uh, for community uh, facilities, and we will be building a new community building this year um, uh, on the site next to the school at East Wichita. We've spent one and a half million pounds on improving the uh, cross sports fields and uh, facilities there. If you've been there, they're absolutely great. And we've also uh, reduced the car parking charge uh, for two hours in Old Town from one forty to one pound to encourage us all to use those car parks and make use of the shopping facilities we've got. The Victoria Road um, uh, public toilets have been refurbished. Uh, that was a, a request from many, many people in Old Town. And also the central refuges in Carlisle Avenue and Marlborough Road, again, another request from a number of members, indeed, of this uh, residence association. Um, overall, in educational terms, since 2002, we'll have spent £21 million on school buildings within the Old Town uh, Ward. What are we going to do uh, in the next few months in Old Town? We're going to implement a new parking arrangement for the benefit of business, residents, disabled people, and uh, uh, um, uh, higher uh, technical carriage uh, uh, taxes in Wood Street. We're going to uh, spend £50 million more attractive for donations on new play equipment in the quarries, uh, uh, Quarry Road, and we're going to push for the redevelopment of the um, uh, Lucana. We all want that, don't we? Yeah. Um, and we will resist the planning, any planning application that comes in for the development of houses at the bottom of Crop Road. We think it's most inappropriate and it's outside of the line of the planning boundary. Generally, we will uh, bring jobs to Swindon. We've uh, managed to secure 500 with Honda for expanding. We're uh, building an exciting development of the Oasis, uh, which will generate 1,700 jobs and will provide ski stone, uh, key, uh, <laughs> snow dome rather, um, skate parks, indoor concert arenas, etc. A multi, multi million pound program. And our playgrounds will be improved, <coughs> and uh, we're spending uh, 800,000 pounds on those. Finally, localism and what Robert said this morning, we've embraced that very much. We've reorganised the council's um, structure, officer structure, to drive to more locality working. And I and my colleagues look very much forward to meeting and working uh, with communities uh, right across uh, Swindon, but particularly in our town. Thank you. Uh, okay, uh, who's number four, I think? It's, yes, our strange chronology. Good morning to you all. Um, I, when I received the, the question as why would I encourage um, you to vote for a Liberal Democrat candidate, as is my want, I turned the uh, question round and asked myself, why would I want to vote for a Liberal Democrat candidate? And these are just a few of my thoughts on to why I am a Liberal Democrat and would like to be a Liberal Democrat councillor. Firstly, I have a lot of experience. I was 20 years as Council's District Council, Chair of Council, Deputy Leader of the Council. I can assure you that Liberal Democrats councillors are not puppets. 
In fact, we are often uh, accused by our political opponents that we have no organisation, we have no policies, but, and that is one of our weaknesses. But believe me, in local government, that is the strength that you want. Because we look at every issue, we discuss it, and then we vote on it. Not as we're told, but as we feel we should. I have been in Swindon just two years. And one of the issues that has come really close to my heart over the last six months is the way in which Swindon Borough Council pay lip service to consultation. I am, and I live in Gorse Hill, and we are just starting on a journey that you are a long way down with the Pickett's Field. I'm also um, a tenant of the council and represent them um, as a tenant uh, member. And I am really aware that the officers, the cabinet members, need to just stop at times and think about how their decisions affect the people who live in Swindon. If I become your Liberal Democrat councillor, I would put the ward first, the town second, and my political party would have a very low priority. And I believe that in Swindon, we need some strong councillors who are not afraid to challenge, who are not afraid to say, this is not what is right for the people we represent. And I would say to you that Liberal Democrats on a local level do that very well because we talk and we uh, consult the whole year round, not just when we want your vote. I think I just wanted to say a little bit first about why Nadine and myself got involved in the Labour Party. Um, we both get involved locally because we just want to make a difference to the areas that we live in, um, to Swindon and to Old Town. Um, all three of us as Labour candidates um, were involved in local community activity. Um, Norman volunteers and fundraisers for a local um, charity. Nadine is a law graduate, she's lived in Swindon for 18 years, she's a mother of three children, takes an active role in her, her local community. Um, I work for a national charity, um, I've lived in Swindon for nearly 25 years now. My daughter went to Lethbridge School and Commonwealth School, so I've got connections with Old Town, and I'm actively involved in activities in the Queen's Park area. Um, as I say, we all take an active role in the local community and we'll bring that commitment to our community and our community involvement, our community work, to our role as local councillors, should you choose to elect us. Um, and I think that's important, it's about engaging with you as local people. Um, so if elected, we'll work with you as local residents to identify issues and concerns. We'll represent these concerns to the council and we'll keep in touch with you as residents through local um, newsletters, surgeries, and by active engagement by talking to you. Um, our commitment to you is that we'll, we'll recognise and acknowledge your queries, we'll respond to them, we'll engage in dialogue with you as local residents, so we're not going to just dictate to you, we want to actually listen to you and listen to your concerns. Um, we'll support an open and transparent council where residents receive answers to legit legitimate concerns. Um, talking about neighbourhood plans, I think what's important is not the referendum. What's important is active community involvement. And I think Piper's Residents Association is a model of a residents association that actually does that. You actually go out, reach out to the community and involve people. And if we can replicate the model that you've got here throughout the town, we'll, we'll be getting somewhere. Uh, good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ed Gerard from the UKIP party. Uh, why did I join the UKIP party? Because I was disenchanted with the Labour party and the Conservative party. I have to say that I was never enchanted with the Liberal party or the Green party. However, 
Uh, we are now uh, becoming a force within British politics and we want to extend our power, our influence down at the local level. We've always uh, had a, uh, as our policy that we want local um, democracy. Local democracy primarily through referenda. Um, and, and that's where, where we want to, to go. Uh, we've seen uh, just lately in, in uh, Old Town the incident between, or, the, or, the, or the conflict between the local, local government and the residents. Uh, we've got um, uh, the local council who's dug their heels in. Uh, the local uh, councillors have not been um, uh, consulting with the residents. Uh, conflicts have, have developed. And through the lack of transparency, through the lack of communication, call it what you will, uh, we wouldn't have had that. We'd have had a referendum straight from the start, because that's where our local policy lies. Referendum with the, with, with the local communities. Um, it was good to actually hear um, Robert explain about uh, local this, this localism act. Um, I must admit, I, I don't do too much about it, but from what Robert said, it sounds quite good. Uh, from my perspective, if you, you uh, uh, elect a UKIP candidate, we would make sure that that local um, act is properly enacted within our borough and, and, for, and with the local associations. But it's very important because what some politicians say and what they do are totally different things. I mean, Robert was talking about referenda and how good it was, and we've always supported referenda for local, local residents. Yes, exactly. Having said that, Robert, who is a member of our parliament, voted against the referendum for, for, for uh, the, the uh, uh, election, uh, uh, our referendum on the EU issue. So, you know, he's saying one, one, say, one, one uh, way, saying, let's have a referendum on another, he voted against the referendum so that you could decide whether we're in the European Union or not. Having said that, we would ensure that the local uh, act, localism act, would be enacted within this borough. Because what Robert said did sound quite good and in line with the UK policy. Thank you.